I am standing here representing those who called the one we come to lay to rest, Daddy, Kulu, Malume, Boot Boy, and the one whom he affectionately called Ho Ho. I'm standing to convey our family's thanks for the many ways in which all of you have stepped forward to tell us of how much you loved Daddy. In all the messages I've received from around the world, the numerous WhatsApps, the most striking common theme has been when people have said, when we were in the dark, he bought them. And that light has lit up countries globally that were struggling with fear, conflict, persecution, oppression, where the marginalised suffered. He never ceased to speak prophetically. He never ceased to speak powerfully. He never ceased to shed light. If Archbishop Desmond Tutu were here, he would have said, hey, Hey, why are you looking so glum, so unhappy? He would have wanted to elicit a smile, a laughter from amongst all of us. That was the type of person that he was. His friend Nelson Mandela put it perfectly when he said, sometimes strident, often tender, never afraid, and seldom without humor. Desmond Tutu's voice will always be the voice of the voiceless.